I go to the movies. What? Yeah. And this one is a movie that I did not see the trailer for. But I did see the poster. And it was hanging up at the movie theater. And I was like, I wonder what that's all about. And then, when you know it, it's showing at the theater. What? So, I was like, I will go and see it. And this movie, it was at the Regal. And it is the movie starring the intern from The Office. What? If you can even believe it. And uh, Ashton Kutcher. He is in it. And the movie, it is called Vengeance. If you can even believe that. And that title, it's kind of generic. I kind of think they kept saying it in the movie. But I kind of think the title should have been, oh, what was that? <laughs> I forgot the line they said a lot. Oh, well, that's kind of embarrassing. But maybe it'll come back to me. So, yeah. So this movie, I thought it was pretty good. The movie, it was about uh, the guy. He's kind of the, the douchebag from the city, right? And he gets the phone call. And uh, it is that his girlfriend has died in Texas. And he's like, I have no idea who you're talking about. Because he was just hooking up with all kinds of people. Wouldn't you know it? So, but he kind of feels bad or something. Well, he, he kind of thinks it might be an interesting story. Because he's trying to get a podcast going. Because that's what people do these days. You know? So, he's really interested in trying to do that. And... <laughs> And he's got this boss at the newspaper who was also or at the magazine or the website. I, I wasn't really sure about what that was going on, going on with that. But so, but he wants to make a podcast. So he's going to go do the story of this. Of, Well, actually, I think, no, that isn't why he goes. He goes just because he's kind of... It's kind of awkward on the phone with the guy and he doesn't know how to, you know, <laughs> this guy's real upset and he doesn't know how to, how to tell him <laughs> that he wasn't really dating this girl or something. But then later he decides that he wants to do this or something. But uh, I thought it was really, it was kind of an interesting movie. You know, it's a movie that's trying to say some things. And Ashton Kutcher, he gives these amazing speeches. I was like always on the edge of my seat whenever he's talking because he's doing these amazing speeches and they were really interesting. And stuff that makes you think, you know? And then there's all these other dynamics about how he's the city guy and he thinks these people are dumb yokels and that sort of thing. And he's kind of like, then he starts coming around to their their way of thinking and, you know, all this other Sort, sorts of stuff is going on. And the family's like, oh, she was killed by the drug cartel and all this other sorts of stuff. But, so. <laughs> but there's, you know, there's twists and turns and you're like, wow, I didn't see that coming. And all that sort of stuff. And I thought the movie was really funny. <laughs> like, there's just... Sometimes there's these really awkward moments, but then there's other times where, I don't know, I got some really big laughs out of watching this. And I think maybe Whataburger donated some money to this movie. Because <laughs> Whataburger is is kind of a big plot point. <laughs> I don't know. An embarrassing human moment was caught on a film. And that embarrassing moment was me coughing. What you gonna do? I am a human. And sometimes I cough. So yeah. So. Now I really liked this movie. I thought it was great. But I think it's kind of a shame. Because I don't think anybody's gonna see this. Kind of because they just don't know it exists. And it's not the kind of movie that people. You know. They, that, that really gets pushed. You know. That people find interesting these days. But it was really good. And I thought everybody did a really good job. All the performances. And the weird awkwardness. Like there's this little boy character. I won't say that his his acting is great. Well, they don't really have him act. He's just kind of, 
You know, he's just kind of there. But you feel for the kid. That sort of thing. I think the guy that plays the brother is a famous guy too, but I can't think of his name. But he did a really good job. And then it's like the mom and the grandma, they just seem like real people. Like, and then there's a couple of sisters and they're kind of, you know, opposite stereotypes sort of thing. But it was, it was an interesting thing. But man, Ashton Kutcher, he really stole the show, I think. And I believe the, the B.J. Novak, he was believable as the douchey uh, city guy. He has a friend in the beginning. He does a good job. And his boss lady, she does a good job. His friend at the beginning, that part of the movie, I think that scene was mostly improv. Well, that's the problem. It's like some of these things I think were improv because there's so many times where it's like B.J. Novak looks like he's just right on the edge of losing it like laughing you know when he's not really supposed to you know he's kind of he's keeping it together but you could see it in his eyes like he's about to crack because <laughs> he thought it, what was happening was was so funny but what you gonna do oh so, yeah but uh what was it man that's annoying they kept saying this line that I was like, I bet that that was originally the title. Much better than Vengeance. Like, Vengeance, this movie doesn't... It doesn't fit that. I mean, they do this thing where they're talking about all the different titles of the what the podcast might be. You know, one of them was Dead White Girl. That might have worked, but I don't think that would have been good either. But there was this thing they kept saying that I just can't remember... What it was now. Oh well. But anyway, all that, that's just my opinion. And my opinion doesn't matter, and your opinion doesn't matter. We just put our opinion on the internet, you know? It's what we do as a culture. And no one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop ourselves, so. Those are my thoughts and opinions. I've thrown them up on top of the thoughts and opinions pile. They will soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions. But, uh, for what it's worth, you know, this Vengeance movie. I really liked it. I think it was great. Yeah.